before El Clasico, I'm going to give you all injury updates on some players that may or may not play on Saturday. El Clasico is coming, and it is coming quick. And then, right after that, let's not forget, we do have the Copa del Rey final. These are some very important games, and we need all the players we can get. Starting off with Neto, our backup goalkeeper who got injured in training two weeks ago with an ankle sprain. What is surprising, though, is that even after two weeks, for not that big of an injury, we still have no return date on Neto. Thankfully, though, the recovery time for similar injuries will likely mean he will be available for the Copa final next week against Atletic Bilbao, but it does seem like they're still going to be playing the rest of the games for this season. Going on to the right back position, and that is of Sergi Roberto. He is still not 100% recovered from his injury, which is why he couldn't play against Valladolid on Monday. But he has been in training for a few days and is in the squad to travel to Madrid. It is still not confirmed if he will start, but at the latest, he will be playing in Sevilla for the Copa del Rey final against Bilbao, which would be his first appearance on the pitch in over two whole months. On to the center back position now, and that is Gerard Piqué, of course, who is another player who is still not 100% recovered, but just like Roberto, he has been in training and is in the squad for El Clásico. Piqué himself hasn't played for over a month since the Sevilla comeback at the start of March. Just like Roberto, though, it doesn't seem like he will start El Clásico, but reports are even saying he will take painkillers to be able to play. Quite frankly, though, I do not know if to be proud or downright worried for Piqué. Moving on to the midfield now, some more negative news actually, as after the Valladolid game, FC Barcelona confirmed that Coutinho had surgery on his left knee. FC Barcelona did not put a return date on Coutinho, but reports are saying that he will miss between 6 to 8 weeks of action, which means he's pretty much out for the season if he doesn't play in those last few games in La Liga. It has been so long since we saw Coutinho playing a Barca shirt. In fact, we haven't even seen him in 2021 as he got injured on December 29th against Eibar, which might in fact have been his last game for FC Barcelona as reports are coming out that Joan Laporta might sell him for around 45 million euros to get rid of a high earner in the wage mill to create funds for the big Haaland deal. And after some underwhelming appearances this season, I can't say I don't agree. And now on to the big one, the player which most of us are anxiously waiting for. We want to see him back on the pitch, and that is Ansu Fati. This guy is an incredible talent, probably the best only behind Haaland and Mbappe. But sadly, it does seem like he is out for the season. He might need another surgery on his meniscus. We will probably know next week after El Clasico what exactly is going on. What we do know though is that it is 100% confirmed that he will not play this month, but it does seem like he will require surgery. He has though actually received public messages from Laporta and weirdly enough, Cristiano Ronaldo, probably because they do have the same agent. But it is nice to see words of encouragement for this young player, as we all know, he has the capability to become a generational player. So that will be it for today's video. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are on Ansu Fati. Do you think he'll make it this season? Sadly, I don't think so. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm anxious for tomorrow's game. El Clasico is coming. And as I always say, Visca el Barça.